Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to Santa's little workshop. Today, we're going to have a little fireside chat about cameras and giving and receiving and all other kinds of joys of the season. So let's rock and roll. Ho, 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 ho. So, boys and girls, to introduce the theme of this video, I'm going to tell you a story from long, long ago in Santa's youth, when I was a virile Viking pillaging and plundering the mountains of southeastern British Columbia. And there I was one day, not pillaging and plundering, but baking bread, kneading my bread. And on the other side of the window appeared a rather confused looking face. Well, it turned out that the face belonged to a lost Kiwi, not, not of the avian sort, but from New Zealand. He moved up to our little redoubt in the mountains and we became fast friends. Soon after, my friend embraced an Eastern religion that encouraged the rejection of Maya and all things material. And so I was happy to relieve him of one of those material objects a Russian Zenit E camera. And I'm only disappointed that he didn't embrace religion sooner because the Kodak Brownie that I'd been using up to that point was far inferior. And that Zenit E accompanied me on many mountaineering trips and other adventures. And incidentally, Zenit has arisen from the dead with a new Zenit M patterned after the Leica M and only 500 are being built. And so one of them could be yours for only $7,000 US. What a deal. Ho, 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 ho. Now up there in the remote mountains, after the earworm jingles you cleared, a break today. I made a few observations on our society. How the flip of a switch and a trip to the supermarket had really robbed us of our feeling of independence and self-sufficiency. You know, those 30 below winter days called for a lot of chopping wood and hauling water from the creek. You remember the old Zen Cohen? Before realization, chop wood, fetch water. After realization, fetch wood and chop water. Ho, 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 ho. Now there's wisdom for you. So that kind of leads into a little discussion about gas. Now, I don't mean the kind of gas that Santa's been suffering from lately uh, due to too much Christmas pudding, but gear acquisition syndrome. Now, I recall a little conversation that happened on a fellow vlogger's YouTube channel a week or two back. Now, he waded into the whole question of, it's not about the camera. Well. It's kind of a little bit disingenuous of us, isn't it, to say it's not about the camera and you don't need the latest gear. While well, we're doing gear reviews and we got Amazon affiliate links down there below our videos, hoping that somebody's gonna click through and buy something. <laughs> anything, buy anything. <laughs> and so, yeah, I agree that a new camera is not going to turn an amateur into a pro. But as I said, it's a little bit disingenuous for me to be pointing my finger and saying, you don't need a new camera. In the comments of the video I just mentioned, one of the commenters mentioned that George Tice, a famous American photographer, made his photographs with a view camera, as if that was the equivalent of, I don't know, daubing ochre on a cave wall. <laughs> I'll tell you something, George Tice used an 8x10 Deerdorf camera as well as Leica's. And that 8x10 Deerdorf camera, if you want to buy it today with a lens or two and some film holders, well, that'll set you back anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000. Ho, 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 Now, I could never afford a view camera. Although I used ones from 11x14, 8x10, 4x5, in some of the studios that I worked at in Toronto, that's me flanked by my buddies at 
the smallest studio I worked at in Toronto. And the center stage there is the Deerdorf 8x10. What a beauty. Wish I owned one now. In fact, I couldn't even rationalize a Hasselblad system until many years after I started my studio. But that's another story. Commentators often like to draw a parallel between painters and photographers. Well, you know, besides the fact that in the 19th century, painters considered photographers interlopers and frauds, the fact is that, sure, a Picasso might be able to take a stick and tie some horsehair on it and create a masterpiece. But, you know, there's a good reason that painters covet paintbrushes made by Windsor and Newton. Well, old Santa's rambling a little bit here, but the main point is, no, you don't need the latest camera, and you should be happy that you have a camera, if you have a camera. And what better time of the year to take whatever it is that you have and point it at your family and friends and make some lovely memories that you'll treasure for years to come. Anyway, there's the point. It's about family. It's about getting together and giving and receiving. And I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. Now, Mrs. Nicholas has permitted me to open one of my presents from her. And so, I'm going to do this little unboxing, as it were, right now, right here. You saw it first. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder whatever it could be. It could be, I hope it's nothing embarrassing. Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mrs. Claus, she listens. She listens. Thank you, thank you, Mrs. Claus. Oh, and before I go, one thing I just wanted to say, I'm going to do a little finger wagging here. Some of you boys and girls have been a little ungrateful to the Nikon elves. And why, just yesterday, they brought to us the long-awaited ProRes RAW function to existing Nikon Z cameras. Now, isn't that wonderful? Now, there is a clause, <laughs> and that is, it's going to cost you, at least in Canada, $250 and you've got to ship it off to Nikon for a factory modification. But, you know, that gives us ProRes RAW in a $2,000 camera. Isn't that wonderful? Now, the other thing that was released yesterday was the latest firmware update, which is not a huge deal, but it does bring functionality for Sony B-Type CS Express card functionality in the cameras. So when those are available, it will be wonderful. Anyway, once again, have a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs>